Drum roll, Steven. <laughs> Season three is here. Rally Caps is back. Yay! Hey, we're not doing full episodes on the channel anymore. We just wanted to explain that because season three is live today. Yes, you can go find our season three premiere episode with Chris Howe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, every major streaming service. Go listen to that full hour-long conversation with him. But as for the YouTube channel... What are we going to do, Steven? We're going to make tutorials. And we're going to make meme videos. And uh, business advice and short-form episodes. And podcasting advice. Really good stuff. Basically, we're going to make a YouTube channel. Yeah, a real, like a YouTube YouTube channel. Like a, like a real one. <laughs> and not just put full episodes in video format on the channel anymore. And I'm sorry if that offends you. And if you get uh, offended enough and you tell us enough, maybe, maybe we'll, we'll change do it. <laughs> who knows? We have... No spines. So <laughs> just <laughs> let us know how you like it, and we'll do whatever we want yeah, still. Yeah, great segue into us saying that we just want to do what we want. Yeah, please let Without us. spines. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go watch. Wait, okay, here's a little clip from the first episode of season three. Yeah. And who else do we have in the pipeline? Oh, man. Uh, we got... <laughs> remember. Yeah, remember. Okay, ready? Uh, we got Steve Antonioni, Kyler Steele, Sam Newton. Us again. Yeah, in Amazing. Hawaii. In Hawaii. Yeah. And a, and a couple other secret guests, actually, that we're going to keep on the DL. A couple right ones that have verbally, contractually agreed. Yeah, verbally and contractually. So anyway, we're really happy to be back. Uh, we have so much good stuff to share with y'all this year. And uh, yeah, welcome to season three and to the future of, uh, of Rally Caps. To infinity and beyond. Infinity and beyond. Oh, also, we're doing merch this year. So that's yeah, cool. Yeah, we are. And I, I think mm. the first year for a lot of people when they're making uh, content online, because, because it's not fueled by... A business and maybe other expectations from other people and having employees and other pressures that come from it. Um, I think that really, it starts with passion. I think it always has to start with passion. And then at some point, a business has to kind of wrap its structure around that passion in some capacity. So I, I would say that I'm trying to find the passion again because of the necessity to make YouTube shorts. Because mm -hmm. I can't fully monetize YouTube shorts or short form content at this point. It's like this giant playground to just go and have fun and make things that are like really exciting. So I found this like new passion for comedy, which I used to be a part of like the improv team in high school. I used to be the captain of the improv team. So there's always been this like underlying, um, comedy background that I did for a long time. I even had a YouTube channel with, uh, some of my closest friends in university called the LMA show. And we produced like a hundred nice. episodes of like short form content, um, oh, cool. which is funny that it's all kind of coming back. It was like very much skits, like 30 second skits, but we would do like five of them in one episode. So I'm getting to exercise a part of me that I haven't really like worked on for a couple years that um, I really enjoy. And, and also that is being like really well received by the world, both in both online and in person. Like when I go for lunch with friends or I, you know, I'm connecting or I'm texting uh, different people, they're, they're kind of bringing up like, oh, I really like the comedy stuff. I really like, I keep doing more of that. And I'm like, all right, so this, this thing that I like, that I'm passionate about is being well received. So that's an exciting thing. But I've, I've had my ebbs and flows with all sorts of finding passion and falling out of passion with uh, a medium or an art form. Like for example, music was a really big one. Like for such a long time, that was the thing. Like I thought I was gonna be a singer songwriter when people would ask, what do you wanna do in the future? I had this very much like, dream of being like a Jack Johnson from Canada and doing like yeah. singer songwriter, maybe doing some like surfing stuff. Cause I also have this like weird background and passion for wake surfing, which is another thing mm. that I can talk about for falling in love with something. And then it turns into a job and an activity and then you kind of fall out of it. It's almost like mm. business kills the spirit of things. <laughs> 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 is that, is that the, is that the underlying message that we've just discovered through this therapy session? 